Hey there guys. Okay, long and short of it, basically I'm off work again because I'm ill. As a result, I don't really feel like playing something as thoroughly challenging and engaging, per se, as uh, Dragon's Dogma. As a result, I'm going to be trying a new game. Well, I say a new game, an old game, in fact. I'm not sure if I can even show that screen, can I? Yeah, whatever. Uh, basically, it's uh, Zool, Ninja from the Nth Dimension, released in 1992 for the Commodore Amiga. Uh, re-released on a bunch of other platforms, including the Genesis, or Mega Drive as it's called here. Uh, it was also re-released on uh, Commodore and Amiga's own CD32, with an upgraded uh, Red Book Audio soundtrack. Uh, Zool is a platforming adventure game, similar in tact to Sonic. It was supposed to be the rival to Sonic, in fact. It didn't really take off because Sonic Sonic is more about the platforming and uh, the fun than it is about the challenge. The guy always thought so anyway. Hmm. How about that? I'm holding back the sudden urge to vomit. And um, Zool, on the other hand, was all about the punishing difficulty. And in a rather bizarre move, it also used larger levels, but to compensate for the larger levels, you couldn't use that extra memory to store the fact that you'd already killed enemies, if you take my meaning. Now, the Mega Drive games were always set up, so the level design was set up against the idea that a certain amount of memory cache was keeping track of what enemies had already been destroyed and whatnot, so if you went backwards, you would not encounter the same screen full of enemies you'd just killed. Zool, however, did not do that. It opted for larger, more detailed levels, uh, at the expense of constantly finding... Literally, you could walk a couple of inches to the right, suddenly remember you'd seen a power-up to your left, go back left and about ten enemies you'd already just killed would have already respawned. You might just swap the disc server. Okay, there we go. But, uh, yeah. So this is going to be... This is, in some ways this is going to be very nostalgic and very fun. But it was also a game that, when I was a child, used to send me into screaming paradoxes of rage. Because, seriously, you'd run all the way to the end of the level, realise you hadn't done something you needed to do. Because this game also has random objectives thrown in. Some of the levels are just case, go right as far as you can to hit the exit. Other ones have specific things during the level you need to do, but the game never tells you. At least, not outright. What it'll usually do is there'll be say, an arrow, in the middle of the screen. No, nothing nothing major, just... It's usually gradated, so it semi-blends into the background as well. It'll just be pointing in a specific direction. If you run past it without noticing, you're basically boned, because that arrow was pointing to whatever it was you needed to do. But of course, it doesn't tell you what, what you needed to do. So, in some cases, you'll get to it, you'll think, oh, fuck, well, what? Did I, did I push the right buttons? Did I, did I kill the right number of people? Did I, have I collected enough points? It can sometimes be as simple as that, just you have to have enough points to get out of the level. But yeah, it never actually tells you. So this is going to be interesting to see what, if anything, I remember of how to do this. Of course, this being an Amiga game, got massive loading screens of DOOM! So this is Zool, alien ninja from the nth dimension, fighting, in this case, jelly people in the sweet world. Now, it should be pointed out, there is very little story to this game. Basically, Zool is traversing the dimensions, just generally attempting to ruin people's day, it seems. At no point does he actually seem to have a reason for being here. He just likes to go around attacking the various denizens and stealing their hearts every now and again. But in that respect, he's not that one like uh, many other protagonists in various other video games. I will say, however... Uh, yeah, story is basically non-existent for this game. Now, say it's a very odd one to quantify. Because, as you can see here, there's a lot of people, you know, clomping about doing their business. But because there is little to no actual story, there is no particular reason why Zool should be here. And, you know, they're not attacking him for nefarious purposes, they're just walking along, doing their, you know, their daily chores, minding their business. And this is icing I'm walking on, not snow. But it's still slippery. But yeah, they're walking along, minding their own business, and all of a sudden this huge green thing with laser death bolt for eyes just comes charging through, 
and starts obliterating all of their friends. You know, naturally that makes them a bit pissy. I mean, I for one don't like that sort of thing. When uh, alien death creatures come along and start decimating my friends. There's also that weird spinny thing that happens every now and again. As well as the game not properly loading the character models. But like I said, the spinny thing where the wings come out. Now, it is possible to make that happen, and I think it allows you to sort of jump slightly further. Sort of a semi glide. There we go, arrow. But it's disappeared now, so presumably whatever it was for, I've already done. Oh, bollocks. Great, I've just killed myself because. Oh, I can jump slightly higher now. If I'm quick, I can. Fuck, no. If I'm jump. No, no, no. Balls. Yeah, this game also a punishing. If you. It's a good point, there's a save point here. Well, you know, checkpoint. But yeah, like a lot of these old games, it's very punishing. See how I didn't land in. So I didn't land exactly on top of that guy. You know, it said, you know, you don't get to, um, keep your life kind of thing. But yeah, there's a lot of this sort of stuff. You'll get places where, literally, there's no way you could know that you're about to kill yourself until you've killed yourself. So it's kind of the way these games kept their longevity. They put the ridic- they turn the dick for the- yeah. Can't speak to that. Shouldn't even really be doing this. They keep the difficulty high. Uh, for out, and it only goes upwards the further you go. And they'll also do other bits and pieces like they'll, um, they'll have like, little pitfalls and stuff that you can't know about until you've actually fallen down them. Which is why I'm walking slightly slower now, just in case I uh, fuck up again. Ow! They'll also have your hitbox be rather sensitive. You'll see a couple of cases in here where I'm. where I land straight on top of people, and rather than that counting as a, a win kind of thing for me. I'll end up taking damage instead. Yes, I do have to concentrate because I know this bit. This bit is where there's a platform that sort of... There it is! Get it! Yes! Logger boss! Now again, there's absolutely no way you could ever know about that platform. Or the death slide that comes after it. There's nothing down the bottom there but spikes, by the way. And because you can grab onto walls, in theory, if you've got enough health, you could survive the death trap. But the odds of that actually happening are pretty slim. So usually what happens is you hit the ground, panic, jump in the wrong direction a couple of times, and lose the rest of your lives. So that's what used to happen to me as a kid. Fuck off! I say hitbox is very, very small for such an old game. But yeah. You also see that guy was firing death bolts of bubblegum or whatever it is. Ow! From, um... Oh, well, that platform on top that I couldn't see, but his attack was still coming down. Now, I know Sonic used to do a couple of things like that with the Buzz Bombers. They'd occasionally fire a shot from somewhere you could- Ow, fuck, no! No! Is he really isn't a game I should be talking over? 3D really is a game that requires so much of your concentration, it isn't funny. Well, you know, not funny to me anyway. You guys are probably shitting yourselves with laughter, but... Get it! Yes. And again, I land more or less on the spikes, but it doesn't count this time, apparently. Just cuz. Fuck off! Fuck off! No! No, 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 Ah, the jump mechanism is pretty crap as well, I've got to admit. This is back in the days when pushing the up arrow, or up on the joystick, if you're using the joystick, uh, would result in you jumping up. However, Zool... Zool's coded in a bit of a... I can't touch the exact same spot, but this time I die. Wait up, take damage anyway. But yeah, say... So on Zool, however, you don't just have to push up. When you're attached to a wall, pushing a direction away from the wall causes you to jump. Now, if you want to jump upwards... Ow, fuck! Missed it. I'm not going to try and get the giant polo because I haven't got enough skills to do that these days without killing myself. But, uh, yeah. If you attempt to jump up and away from the wall, you have to push up and away, or else you won't jump. Ow, fuck. Ah, you helped me, dickhead. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Uh, but yeah, so I've got to push the up and away arrows to jump up and away. But obviously, if I want to try and go up the wall I'm currently stuck to, I need... Ow! No! Ah! No! I need to push up, away, and then rapidly push right again, so I don't swing into, you know, anything that's going to kill me. Ah, crap. I remember this section. A load of mini spikes. There's that fucker, isn't there? Do it! Quickly, Zool! 
I'm invincible, invincible. Jump the fucking wall, Zool. There we go. He's managed to somehow not kill himself. That's kind of impressive when you think about it. Fuck off. Yes, take all their hearts, Zool. All their hearts. No. Fucking no. Slidey thing of doom. Slidey thing of doom. Ah, like a boss, Zool. Like a boss. We don't need this shit. Can't believe that actually worked. Take a sip of my Pepsi in a celebration. Hmm. You see what I mean about the difficulty? I've been doing this for what? 10 minutes at most? I'm not even out to the first level yet, really. I'm already. Where am I? I'm down to my last life and I'm on the last level. Well, the last segment of the very first level. Because this is the easiest one to get through as well. There are much, much harder levels to do than this. Uh, the one just after this, the music levels. Pretty much a pain in the ass. It's got enemies that look exactly like things that are in the background. So you'll be running along. You'll see a bunch of, uh, you know, like old-fashioned records. And oh shit! Uh, well, I can't remember what you do with this. Oh, this is important too, and I can't remember why. Shit! 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 I have to carry on and hope for the best, really, won't I? Ow! Fucking. That area of attack is so big on his little attack thing there. Let me get up here again. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, so there's so, so much I've forgotten about this bloody game. Where are you shooting, mate? Arrow pointing up, so there's something... I can't, see, I can't even remember. This is not... It's, I think this is actually going to be the first example of me fucking up, isn't it? I've got a really bad feeling I'm going to get to it, the end of this and the... Uh, the exit token is going to be faded out, which means I can't use it. So it's something I'm still supposed to do in the game. Oh fuck, boss! Yeah, there's no preamble to the bosses in this game. The background music doesn't even change. Not that there is any you know, real music in the Amiga version. CD32 is um, a little boss theme for each of the bosses. Aha! Did you see that? Ah, feck. I was right. See the things faded out, it's not solid. That means there's still shit I need to do. Crap. I like all these old games, there's a timer to the levels as well. In addition to the difficulty and whatnot, if you're too timid and take it too slow, you end up dying because... Ow, fuck off! Respawning enemies, no. You end up dying because there's a, a bunch of shit still to do that you didn't realise. Crap. What am I forgetting then? Oh, there's this little slidey manoeuvre that isn't really that useful. The only time it's useful is when you're on the um, the slopes. It can sometimes help you kill stuff that's on the bottom. But there's very rarely stuff on the bottom, so it's not really that much of an issue. Let's see, what am I missing? Mm, ow! Land straight in the spike, all Good idea. I refuse to acknowledge my jump command, so I lose a second bar of health. Fuck off! Really, guys? Oh, that's what that does. The bumps make you jump higher. Should have really figured that out by myself, but you know, whatever. Ah, this thing's not. Was that what I needed? You son of a bitch! You little jelly son of a bitch. Why would you even? Seriously, what am I missing here? I'm hoping because I've punched that thing, now that means I can actually. Hmm. Was it one save point, one hit? I really should have looked this up properly before actually starting this game, shouldn't I really? Nope, still can't leave. My thing's gone from 23 to 35, what the fuck? How does that make sense? I'm now further away from completing the game than I was before? Again, how the fuck does that work, mate? No, jump, jump, Zool! Zool, don't give me shit about this, mate. There we go. Yeah, it's usually a good idea to have several bolts of laser death flying ahead of yourself. If you're going to be jumping around like a madman like I am. Right, so you can't actually activate more than one at a time. That makes no sense. Why would that be the case? Something to do with you fuckers, isn't it? Hmm. But what? That is the question, boys and girls. What is the point? What's the point of any of it? Hmm. Is there really nothing else? I didn't miss like a secret item at the beginning of the level, did I? 
thinking that happens in some of them. But like a little, um, like a little item that doesn't really do anything, but it's important to actually completing the level for some reason or other. Yeah, my, yeah, my step counter is not going up properly. Very strange. No, whatever. Okay, well, I can't find anything else, so it's got to be something to do with those weird um, quadrilogy of hit signs. It's on the middle of the floor over here. So, uh, this is a sequence I need to hit you in. No, no, no. Seriously, what the fuck? Uh, you. Ah, there we. Son of a bitch! <laughs> 